hey, more proof we're living in a third world country owned by corporations that are going to turn us into a fourth world country. Jackson, Mississippi, the capital of Mississippi, is going to go without drinking water indefinitely. Think I'm kidding? Jackson, Mississippi will go without reliable drinking water indefinitely after officials said on Monday after pumps at the main water treatment plant failed. Well, don't they have backups? Those failed too. Leading to an emergency distribution of bottled water to, uh, to, for 180,000 people. The city linked the failure to complications from the flooding of the Pearl River. But Governor Tate Reeves, who declared a state of emergency, said the cause was unknown and that the city-run water treatment plant had been poorly operated and understaffed for years. I, I don't find that hard to believe. In any case, the capital city of 150,000 people and 30,000 in surrounding communities could go without running water indefinitely. As officials warn, anyone with access to tap water should boil it for three minutes. Jackson, the state capital, is more than 80 percent black or African-American. Do not drink the water, the governor told a hastily called news conference. In too many cases, it is raw water from the reservoir being pushed through the pipes. The city said recent flooding of the Pearl River created complications at the O.B. Curtis Water Treatment Plant, which sits next to the reservoir that drains into the river just north of town. The town has been under boiled water alert for a frickin' month. So you can't bathe in that either, right? I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't think. Reeves said the motors powering the plant's pumps went out recently, leaving it to operate on backup pumps, which failed on Monday. So can't you just go get a couple of more motors? Well, where's your jet? You, you guys can't truck in a generator, right? Don't they make industrial grade generators that you could just truck it in and fill it with gas and turn well, it on? If they were white people, maybe we could. <laughs> uh, the state would establish an incident command center at the plant early Tuesday, hoping to reestablish operations until it is all fixed. It means we do not have reliable running water at scale. It means the city cannot produce enough water to fight fires, to reliably flush toilets. And to meet other critical needs, the governor said. The crisis exposed a gulf between the Republican governor and the Democratic mayor of Jackson, Chakwi Antar Lumumba. Reeves said he did not invite Lumumba. He didn't invite. So the governor doesn't invite the mayor of the city to the press conference. He says, I cannot comment on what the flooding mayor may not have had. I cannot comment on what effect the flooding mayor may not have had. Because water pressure dropped system wide, officials could not guarantee running water, and they did not know how many homes were affected. In the meantime, Jackson Public Schools said they would shift to online learning. Jesus, F and F. The city and state were both distributing bottled water and non-potable water for toilets, which the governor called a massively complicated logistical task. The water crisis of Jackson follows years of failure to fix an aging system. So it sounds like bad governance. More people need to be talking about Jackson, Mississippi. The city ran out of bottled water to give residents yesterday. It's the largest city in Mississippi. It's 80 percent black. Their water system is failing because of years of neglect. This is environmental racism. Now, I don't know. I, is it racism or is it just bad city management? It's the capital of Mississippi, right? Yes. Yeah, it seems a little because Flint's not the capital of Michigan, is it? Like no. So, I just, so, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm too ignorant to know. So, maybe this is environmental racism. There is, I know what environmental racism is. Yeah, I know, sure. I, I know that's Flint a was real, that. Flint is that. Yeah. Um, But this, it, it's, I, I, have, I don't know who the failure is I, who, of, how of many, fixing it. Like, right. Somebody's supposed to be going, hey, we need help. Well, it's here. a city run thing. So, who's been running the city? The city's 80%. Is that why he didn't invite the guy? If the city's 80% African American, they, do you think they would be electing? Can you see uh, the the last two mayors of Jackson, Mississippi? Who were they? Were they of color or white? Mississippi received four hundred twenty nine million dollars last year in federal infrastructure funds, specifically for water lines and pipes. And I'm wondering, what did we do with all that? So there, it sounds like bad government or maybe corruption. They gave them half a billion dollars. That's to pay for cops for the water riots. It's a, ah! <laughs> so instead of fixing the water, they just hire more. Yeah, that's exactly what they would do. Hire more cops for the water riots. 
Guess what? Guess what the governor did though? He signed a five hundred twenty-four million dollar tax cut. Well, wow. as education infrastructure funding woes remain. Good job, and he's got like I like how he has a, a bright look on his face while <laughs> in the picture. Biden lays out thirty-seven billion. Oh, so so was oh okay. So that's that's for policing. I just oh. want to show you this is what we're spending our money on. Yeah, well, in America, they don't have water in the capital city of Mississippi. Yeah, well, they're gonna probably start stealing. We got to police them now. But we, yeah, so this is so we got to hire more cops for those water riots. Do we find out who the last two mayors of? Uh, uh, I'm I'm looking at one hey, more. Sorry, Tony what Yarber was, last, was. What's that? Tony Yarber was 2014 through 2017. He's African American. Yeah, and the current and the current mm-hmm. mayor is African American. Yeah, so, I'm so just, that's why I would push back on it being environmental racism. It just seems like bad management. Yeah. Also, Chokwe Lumumba. Yeah, that's right now. Mm-hmm. Twenty three. No, twenty thirteen, twenty fourteen. But he was also African American. Yeah, but he's also the mayor right now. Two people with the same name. So Chokwe Lumumba. Two, two different people. Twenty thirteen, twenty fourteen died in office, and then Chokwe Antar Lumumba is twenty seventeen to present. Not related. They, I don't know, folks. If they're related. related. Second, they've got to be related. So it looks like. So what are it, the odds of that? What are, what are the odds of that? I guess 50-50. <laughs> so there you go. This, we're a third world country, but we're going to spend $40 billion on... We still don't have clean water in Flint. They got no water. There's lead in pipes all over this goddamn country. There's lead in the water. All over. We're not going to do anything. This is an end of an empire. This is how it ends. We spend more money on cops, no money on infrastructure, and then when people start rioting, you spend more money on cops. <laughs> what do you do like i mean if they gave them all that money to fix it which they didn't like what do you even do with taxes if like well, i don't they know just don't spend it on any of this stuff like well jackson mississippi has no water but ukraine po- and the police get hundreds of billions kurt hey seven years on the flint water crisis is yet to conclude <laughs> Flint's like, but hey, no, how about another up, 54 uh... billion to ukraine before we fix the pipes and yeah, again this is it And this idea that if we could just hate the Republicans enough, things will get better is such a juvenile position. It's disgusting. This idea, these people who still preach, fuck the right wing, fuck the Republicans. This is all there is no two party system. This is it. And Joe Biden's not fixing that. Joe Biden's going to give 40 more billion dollars to cops. There are still people doing this, pretending that there's a left right in America problem. (laughs) They're still doing this. Wow. Hey, we're coming to Tulsa, Oklahoma City, Detroit, Los Angeles, Spokane, Tacoma, Denver. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for all our tickets for all our live shows. See you there.